Do you have a dream? A goal to be achieved at all cost? I do. Living my life to the fullest, fighting, moving forward and never giving up. Not even in the face of multiple sclerosis, which I have lived for over 10 years now. That's why I decided to participate twice in the Ironman 70.3 in Pescara in 2014 and 2015. Always with a single goal, to reach the finish line and not give up, backed by my team and many supporters. The Ironman is an international triathlon course and takes place every year around the world, which is more gruelling and longer than the Olympic triathlon. 1.9 kilometres swimming, 90 kilometres of cycling and 21 kilometres of running. I still remember the race at Massa Carrara from the very beginning, together with my dear friends Massimo Viviani and Luca Cavagnaro. A journey of songs, laughter and a lot of joy, even in the face of a risk-filled challenge. I clearly remember the tension on race day. I remember the cheering, the passion of the crowd and the incredible views, from the beaches to the Grand Sasso and the Mayella. Above all, I remember the emotion of being there, driven by the desire to make it at all costs. I've got the whole Pescara triathlon team with me. Fabrizio Palladinetti for swimming and running, Carmen de Agostino for the cycling stage, and all my race mates who were always there for me. In 2014, I ranked 1,150th out of over 1,500 participants with a time of five hours and 50 minutes. You have no idea how joyful it is to cross that finish line. The 2015 edition was a very difficult one, with very high temperatures and high humidity, with over 150 athletes needing medical attention for health concerns and accidents. I had three demanding climbs to look forward to during the cycling stage. The gradient was really difficult and my team and I feared the possible of muscle attacks caused by my multiple sclerosis. The guide stayed close to me all the time, bringing me water bottles and supplements to deal with the difficult moments. I then got to the swimming stretch, where Fabrizio Palladinetti and the rest of the team swam in a circle around me to protect me from the other swimmers who would have otherwise hit me. And during the last stage, the race, I felt my heart in my mouth. I had oxygen shortage, but I couldn't give up. I wanted to make my dream come true, not let my illness stop me. Reach the finish line, prove to everybody and myself that life goes on. Well, I did it again, and believe me, not ending up in hospital was in itself a great achievement for a 50-year-old man with MS. Because the real victory is not in arriving first but in continuously fighting and moving forward with courage. <laughs>